<laughs> and here comes our vegetable soup and we'll be preparing this vegetable soup with a little bit twist but you're gonna get it i'll go ahead with my goat meat right on the pot season this up with salt maggi cube chicken flavor and blended chili and onions add water and cover this allow to cook while in the separate pot i'll go ahead and add in shaki and pomo season it up the same way i seasoned the goat meat add enough water to cook this cover the pot and allow this to cook until soft which usually takes about 40 to 45 minutes back to a pot our goat meat is set i'll go ahead and scoop this out separate it from the stock set it aside for grilling go ahead and mix together with the shaki and pomo bring in dried fish pre-cooked pomo smoked mackerel smoked catfish periwinkles and mix everything up cover and allow this to cook until there is no water left in the pot while in a separate pot let's prepare our stew base i'll go ahead and heat up my palm oil add in chopped up onion stir this together and fry this for about two minutes two minutes later i'll then add in blended bell pepper and allow this to fry for like 10 minutes the longer your bell pepper fries, the more tastier it becomes. You can also apply this in your stew. Go ahead and add in maggi cubes and crayfish. Stir this up and continue frying. Checking back on our pot, as you can see, there is no more stock left. This is the right time to now mix our stew base together with our meat stock and stir together. Then go ahead and add in the remaining crayfish, stir this together and allow to cook for like 2 minutes. Then bring in our main ingredient for this dish which is our water spinner. Add it all, cover and allow to cook to shrink. Few minutes later as you can see our vegetable has shrinked. I'll then stir this up completely to mix everything together. The water spinach is going to provide the water we need for the soup. Stir this well properly and then bring in our grilled meat. Add in our grilled meat and combine everything together. Allow this to cook for a few more minutes and dish out into sizable containers and place in the refrigerator. And here you have it folks, this is my easy method to transform any soup from 0 to 100. Feel free to apply this method to any of your soup choice. And please don't forget to like and share, click the subscribe button and stay with this channel. See you in my next video. Please don't forget to leave a comment and share.